Hi everyone, my name is Mitali and today I am presenting the project proposal on the behalf of our group 6 and our project proposal is airport terminal renovation. Let's look on the table of contents and what are the various parts we will cover under this project proposal. First of all, we have to cover the about the project, problem and solutions, goals and benefits of the project proposals, deliverable and success criteria, and, and fifth is a project management strategy we have to cover and the budget which is the most important. Seventh is the requirements of our projects, eighth is a timeline and last is a conclusion. Here, I am starting a project proposal with the main goal of, of our project. So, what's the point of, of the project proposal? We want to redesign the airport and increase the facilities and comfort of the customer. As we know, the hundreds of thousands of people travel through this airport each year. So, this is our main team. John White is a lead designer. Tom Smith is a project management and James Williams is a lead contractor for the project. So here I am discussing the problem of problem of Pearson Airport with their solutions. The problems are that uh, airport is responding with large construction packages and new processing technology to assist them deal with greater gates and passengers. Air traffic conjunction is frequent on Toronto Pearson Airport which makes it difficult to manage the flow of aircrafts as well as the passengers. So what's their solutions? Our design would shorten transfer times and maximize staff efficiency and optimize air processes. Passengers can process through faster with new three pre-board screening points with the installation of some energy system upgrades we will reduce the overall energy consumption as well thousands of guests move through terminal every day so with easier transition through check-in screening security or more access to retail and food facilities and smoother operation behind the scenes Toronto airport will be well on its way to improving experiencing and increasing revenues goals and benefits of our projects are the goal one is create more space in the arrivals baggage area and the departure area goal two is building a new jet bridges a new departure area a four lane security checkpoints for the customers third is increasing capacity of the terminal to accommodate at least 100 million annual passengers fourth is features such as self self check-in and bag drop facilities, smart lanes and e-gates will also be made available for quick service. Let's discuss the benefits. The modern spaces with flexibility for the future, bet better bathrooms for new restrooms with upgrades to existing restrooms, improved safety for passengers and additional new security checkpoints with enable technology on the entry point and comfortable spaces to meet and greet travels this includes both domestic and international arrivals as well last is a modern and spacious ticking areas thank you. so what's our deliverable of our projects in our project we need to renovate all the interior of the airport our project renovation will be completed in approximately a year so that the passenger will not will not suffer due to our ongoing construction these are the several success factors found by the research. First is the implementing an effective quality assurance program, develop an appropriate organization structure, client's contribution to construction, control mechanism, feedback capabilities, team project team leaders experience, impl implementing an effective safety program, project teams leader early and continue involvement project management strategy which we have to follow to construct our project first is a getting budget which is required most important how much they are going to spend on renovation of project according to that our plan is set and made make sure the fund is reserved for the uncertain changes in project second is a work breakdown structure after getting the getting the budget we start dividing the work according to the capability of the team and the team members and their goals should be achievable. 
and next is a contractor selection and uh, and and after that we we hire the contractor for our construction so fourth one is a prepared data making proper data regarding schedule of the work is help to stay on track it it includes the starting of the demolition of the old area reusable material are put aside for recycling so to reduce waste next is important is material material requirements are also vital for every project shortage of any material causes the delay of the project to make sure material is available at proper timing according to the schedule next is a monitoring and quality inspection which is very important that we have to make all permits available before to build any project last is a safety on site the safety of the safety during the project or of the employees is really important so here is the total budget of our project is about dollar 171 million moreover the renovation of terminal costs around 250 millions which includes the line baggage screening system streamlined passenger and screening and processing facilities also the another costing is dollar 1318.5 million which includes the increased size of lobby gate security screening checkpoints also the other amount is 148.5 million which includes the bus port and public plaza also the connected mates it is easier for passengers for passengers to reach their connecting flights bus spots will be added upon this also so the payment must take place in three stages one third of the total is due upon signing on this contract second is is midway through this project and last payment is due on the completion of the project the main requirements of our projects is first is the human resource as we need the labor for this project second is the raw material for the construction third is the safety and security many safety and security equipments are required so that passengers cannot enter with illegal material fourth is the technology in this modern era technology is required in every field so there is a need of various smart computers so that passengers can check out by themselves now there is a time of pandemic so we need a system which track every kind of virus as well last is a finance so the timeline of our project is approximately one year this master plan is a thorough examination of the demand we anticipate over the next 20 years it also outlines the activities facilities that will be required over the planning horizon to support our region's province country sustains growth finally this document concludes with the thorough land use plan which we transmit to the federal federal minister of transportation for assessment and approval at conclude if the term, terminal expansion project is approved, we will meet demands by providing a better flow of passengers, baggage and new commercial retail offerings, all with the goal of improving the customer travel and service experience and establish a Toronto Pearson as a true global hub attracting passengers from all over the world. By 2025, we expect non Leronotial commercial sales to rise from 8% to 20% of overall non-aeronautical re revenues thanks to the addition of, of all retail space at Terminal 1 as well as changes to product offers and higher priced products. Thank you. So this is our project proposal of the airport terminal expansion.